Welcome to THG Week Rewind. Let's rewind the week. On Sunday, US President Joe Biden withdrew from the 2024 election race and endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris as the presidential nominee. On Monday, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman presented the economic survey of the year 2023 to 2024 along the statistical appendix in the Lok Sabha on Monday. It said India's GDP is likely to grow at 6.5 to 7% in the current fiscal year. On Tuesday, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman presented the budget in the Lok Sabha. The latest budget has reduced new tax slabs. A salaried employee can save up to 17,500 rupees in income tax. Political alliances with Nitish Kumar and Chandra Babu Naidu's parties, the government allotted special packages to Bihar and Andhra Pradesh. Bihar was allotted 58,900 crores and Andhra Pradesh was allotted 15,000 crores in special packages from the center. Rahul Gandhi termed it as a kursi bachao budget. There was a meager increase in the minority budget by only 574 crores, which is 0.01% less than last year's minority budget. Gold, silver, platinum and mobile phones went cheaper with reduced custom duties. On Wednesday, the India bloc protested the government's budget in front of the parliament building. The Congress party accused the BJP-led NDA of copying budget from the Congress manifesto. And on the same day, a total of 18 people died when a Saurya Airlines aircraft crashed at the Tribhuvan International Airport in Kathmandu. A total of 19 people, including two crew members, were on the Pokhara-bound flight that took off from Kathmandu. On Thursday, the Supreme Court refused to cancel the NEET UG 2024 exam. The top court said that it realizes that giving direction for a fresh NEET UG exam for the present year would be replete with serious consequences for over 24 lakh students who appeared in the exam. On Friday, Paris saw a glittering and first-of-its-kind opening ceremony on the Seine River. The highly anticipated Paris Olympics 2024 was declared open in the French capital on Friday. The Indian contingent was led by P.V. Sindhu and Sharath Kamal. On Saturday, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris signed the forms officially declaring her candidature for the US presidential elections due on November the 5th. Thank you. That's it for today. Follow TAG for more.